God gave us tears for a reason. Growing up, I had this flawed understanding of what strength was. To me, strength was not showing weak emotions, as if that's a thing. And so as I lived my life, I was driven by that thinking. And I made sure I never did anything that left me vulnerable or exposed or left my heart naked for the world to see. And that did one thing. It made sure that I never cried in front of anyone. That I never cried in general. Because to cry was to be vulnerable. And to be vulnerable was to be weak. Well, looking back on that, I've realized how wrong I was. Because instead of being a strength, it was actually one of my greatest weaknesses. For instance, I remember watching a movie, Old Yeller, where, spoiler alert, the dog dies. I wanted to cry so badly. Cry over the loss of a dog. But as I looked in the corner of my eyes at my brother's, and I saw no tears in their eyes, I forced myself not to cry. Because in my mind, if I cried and they didn't, I was weaker than them. And I didn't want to be weak. I wanted to be strong. I wanted to impress the world with my strength. So I never cried. And most definitely not if those around me weren't as well. I've been at camp for two weeks now. And I can say I've cried at camp more than I've cried in my entire life. And it's taught me something important. That God gave us tears for a reason. To be human is to experience and to express all the emotions God has gifted us with equally. And if you cut out the emotions that cause tears to well, that cause tears to run down your cheeks, that causes you to cry, you're not experiencing the fullness of humanness. You're not experiencing all of God's greatest gifts. I cry at camp because the people around me are hurting. My friends are hurting. The campers are hurting. I'm hurting. I cry because I see campers that are going back to broken homes where they're abused and molested by their parents. I cry because I'm exhausted and I'm expected to give something I don't have. I cry because it's the most genuine prayer I can, I can utter in the moments of my greatest weakness. God gave us tears for a reason. And what I've learned is that tears are the most accurate expression of the condition of our heart. Tears in and of themselves are prayers. When your heart is crying out in agony, your tears are prayers for comfort. When your heart rejoices in gladness, your tears are praises of thanksgiving. Your tears are prayers, and they reflect the cries of your heart. I, I truly believe from what I see in myself and others that oftentimes when we pray, we babble. Scripture warns against babbling I see it in myself that, that, that when I pray and when other people are around, I try to string together these beautiful sentences, beautiful sentences that sound so good to impress, not to communicate. I use words I don't even understand and they sound so good, but they don't reflect my heart. I've learned that my prayers are most genuine when I let my heart cry out for me and only speak when I feel it necessary. 
when I mourn, when I see others mourn, you can't speak. You can't because you are consumed with your mourning. You are consumed with your sadness. The only prayer you can pray are the tears that fall down your face as your heart cries out for you. Tears were given to us as means through which we can communicate to God. There was a moment at camp when one of my friends, her, her childhood friends had just died of cancer. She was a mother of two, married, loved, taken by cancer. And this hit my friend's heart. She mourned, she sobbed, she fell on the ground and couldn't, couldn't speak. She was consumed with agony. And instead of giving her words of wisdom or throwing scripture at her, my friends and I huddled around her and just cried with her. For an hour we cried. And it was so powerful because all of our hearts cried out for her and the tears that fell down our face reflected that. And we didn't string together beautiful sentences and we didn't try to impress her with our words of wisdom. We simply comforted her and mourned with her as our tears fell down our face. I truly believe that God gave us tears for a reason. And I encourage you not to limit the expression of your heart by forcing yourself not to let the tears run down your face. You're allowed to cry in response to something both negative and positive because tears are prayers in and of themselves. And tears are so powerful. John chapter 11, the story of Lazarus dying. Jesus wept. He wept not only because he was hurting, but because he saw the people around him hurting as well. He mourned for himself. He mourned for the people around him. He mourned for the situation. He mourned because his tears were the best prayer he could utter. And if Jesus cried, if Jesus, the God of the universe, allowed himself to cry, and so should we, because God gave us tears for a reason, and that reason is so beautiful.